fans of the Horus Heresy, Warhammer 40,000 and getting a proper probability outcome. Thank you very much for joining me for a slightly different video where I'm going to talk about dice. So this is very much a video thinking about probability in wargaming and you could equally take what thoughts I'm going to share here as being applicable to any game involving dice. So what gave me an idea to do a video about this was actually an article that I read about a piece of research that was done about the results that various dice types produce compared to the expected outcome. And this is very much talking about six-sided dice. So the research was done by someone who's a war gamer and they did their piece of research based on a, let's call it a hunch that they developed over a number of years in terms of observing the outcome of probability on the good old fashioned Games Workshop dice. And by that, I mean one of these little chappies. These have been appearing in Games Workshop games for years and years and years. And I think it's only recently that some games have started to come with other dice. So the person, basically, he thought that these dice produced too many ones. You know, you would expect there's a 16.6% .6 reoccurring chance of getting any one of the six results on a D6. You know, that's a straightforward probability or the percentage chance of probability one in six of any result. So they did a test where they took a group of dice and they controlled the throwing and did a total of 144,000 throws. The outcome of that result was that the one occurs 29% of the time, which is way ahead of what you would expect. You know, you'd expect 16.6% .6 reoccurring to happen. So their conclusion was that these little GW dice do not produce an even probability result. And the reason he was, well, there's several reasons. Firstly, the size, there's not a great deal of mass in this dice. The next is the fact that the pips are all recessed and drilled, so that affects the weight facing on each side of the dice. And then the fact that it's got these highly rounded corners, uh, and le to a lesser extent, the edges. And if you look at the face, it's actually, it's, it's more, it's almost circular as opposed to square. And those are the reasons he cited for these not producing a consistent range of outcomes. And I thought that was really interesting. The bit that really fascinated me is when the author said that he'd contacted a casino, so a Vegas casino, and asked them about if they do research around dice probabilities and do they do anything to control the probability, as in produce an even probability according to the game of chance involved. Well, in this case, you know, dice, it might be craps if it's in the US. And he managed to get hold of their research and they said they did. And that factors into the design of the dice they use in a casino and the also the length of time they use the dice for. I guess in a casino, they're looking to control an accurate outcome of probability according to the mechanics of the game to make sure there's no deviation and there's a load of other things they're interested in as well. By law, certainly out there in Vegas, they have to make sure that the hardware involved in the game of chance isn't going to skew the outcome of that game of chance. So the author of this study recommended that casino spec dice produce the truest actual probability outcome versus what we mathematically would expect. And because I'm fascinated in stuff like that, I decided to uh, buy some casino dice. And that's what I've got in this bag. So, these are red. And I thought we might just share looking at them. So, I bought these. These should be brand new. They are sealed in this. Uh, what feels like a cigarette paper, not that I smoke, because I don't, but um, it feels like cigarette packet paper. So yes, so let's have a look at these and see just what they're, how they come across. There we go. So these, are, uh, these should be brand new and never been used before. There you go. So these are clear acrylic, and actually they're surprisingly lightweight. I thought they were going to feel heavier. They're quite large. These are 18 millimeter um, cube. Notice the difference here. Very sharp corners. So let's have a look at the differences. So first thing is with the casino dice, the uh, marks or the, the results, not the marks, the results are, I don't know if these are some very thin transfers or paint. Just bear with me a second and I'll look. 
I can't actually tell if those are painted on or if they're very thin transfers. I mean, they feel completely smooth on the surface of the dice. So that's the first thing. There are no pips or relief drilled into the face of the dice, which will, maybe to a small degree, but affect the way it rolls because it changes the weight of the relative faces. On this GW six-sided dice, obviously the big thing is we have six opposite one. So we've got the most pips opposite the least pips. That's the standard design we've got that here as well. Yeah, all the same. They feel very, um, they feel very nice in hand. Yeah, interesting. I'm not a person who frequents casino, so I have no experience of this sort of dice. I do have a good feel in hand. Interesting. So yeah. these cost me nine pounds, including the postage, and that was in the UK. You can get used casino dice um, for maybe a little bit cheaper, and they've got like a I don't know if it's it's somehow printed on like a hallmark, normally on the one face, the name of the casino that they originated from. Hmm, let's have a little roll. That's not too bad for a first roll, is it? I bought myself some of these purely out of curiosity, um, just to see if I game, when I game with these, if I notice any difference with them. I've not used these little dice for a long time, basically because I always found they roll away too easily. I never perceived that they didn't roll so well. Although I do play a lot of games against an opponent, or a couple of opponents who use a lot of these, and I don't use these, and I notice perhaps maybe I do consistently roll better in comparison to them. I don't know, but that's not tested, that's just a slight hunch. I mean, let me show you the dice I use. The most common dice I've always used is this design. I think these are 10 mil, are they, I think they're 12 millimeter, yeah, 12 millimeter, and they've got the number written on each face. So again, the amount of weight taken out of each face differs according to the number. Yeah, I'm not sure. Perhaps less significant in terms of difference in weight between this face and this face compared to this face and this face. And also, as a percentage of a total weight, the material removed on these is going to be less than on these. And then this has also got squarer edges. I mean, they're rounded off, and I think that's a concession to feeling nice to hold. But they don't have these completely rounded off corners of the little old-fashioned GW dice, or these may be current GW dice. So yeah, I normally game with those. Um, interestingly, I bought a set of these dice. These are actually from, uh, is it Kill Team? I bought them because they have the Iron Hands symbol on, and I play Iron Hands Legion. I actually, I wasn't very keen on the way they've been designed because they put the Iron Hands badge on the one as opposed to the six. So most of the time you're aiming high in 40K. So whenever I see my own Legion's badge, it's like a bad result. Subjectively, they don't feel as nice dice to use. I don't know, I don't like using these. I don't tend to use them much because I find, I don't know if there's any science to this, but I find that they seem to roll low more than these. Now that's highly subjective and I've not tested it, but it is something I noticed. Interestingly, the most recent 40K game that I bought, which was Dark Imperium, the Warhammer 40,000 8th edition box set, contained a different design of D6. So, and this is this guy here, or this lady, if you prefer. And if we compare it to this dice, we can see that it's probably, is it comparable to this one? Yeah, a little bit narrower, so I don't know if this is 11 mil or something. When I was thinking about what to say in this video, these occurred to me, and these are more cube in form these old dice and you can see that the rounding of the corners is considerably less although it does still retain a curved off edge and i wonder if gw has moved away from these little dice and onto these because you know they've heard about this thing with the probability outcomes of these the research article or i don't know if it was actually ever published peer-to-peer -peer review but the piece of research was done back in 2007. I'll leave a link in the description to the web page that hosts it. It's also hosted on the Bolter and Chainsaw website, which is, I think, where it was originally put up. But it did interest me. And the bit that really fascinates me is the difference in the casino dice design and the original GW War Games dice design. The casino, where their probability outcome is regulated by law, have adopted a very different design of dice to what Games Workshop is shipping with its games. And until someone does some other research to either 
corroborate what this guy found or perhaps increase his sample size, do a bigger sample of rolling than 144,000. You would say, well, there's a reason why casinos use dice like these because they give an even outcome of probabilities and they don't use ones like this because they're inconsistent. Not inconsistent, no. They are consistently wrong, I think is a way of phrasing it, uh, to give an even probability of getting a one, two, three, four, five, or a six. So, yeah, quite fascinating that. Hmm, these aren't going to fit in my dice box. I'm going to have to buy a new dice box for them. But they are quite handsome looking dice, and yeah, it's going to be fascinating giving them a go and seeing if, I don't know, if I notice any difference. I mean, it might also be a case of, well, you know, do I find them a bit of a pain to use because they're big? And they're you know, quite sharp and you wouldn't want to crush one of these in your hand too hard. And yeah, they might, you may imagine that if you're throwing them on a table, you might knock these corners off. So there you have it. Some random thoughts on my part about dice based on this piece of research I read looking at the outcomes of GW small D6s versus, you know, different other types of dice. The fact that the researchers said that these are heavily biased towards a one result would certainly suggest to me not to use these dice at all. And of course that means both ways. Never use these for anything because if you've been really cunning in theory, you would use these for all your to hit rolls. You would use these for anything that you need to roll low on. So in seventh edition, an initiative test or rolling a leadership test, obviously. Because picking a dice, well, I mean, obviously that's fair for hit rolls, but using this dice for any test is, if the research is to be believed, unfair one way or another. And you should definitely not pick or choose the dice that you use to roll based on them having a skew towards a particular outcome. I'm very interested to hear what everyone has to say about this because I don't think people think much about the dice they buy in terms of how well have they actually been tested to make sure they work properly, i.e. give an even set of outcomes, because I don't believe the people who write any game is assuming that dice are going to give a preferential skew, they're assuming a mathematical sequence of probability. Have you had any thoughts or encounters with anything to do with physical dice and probabilities? Have you noticed the same thing about these small GW dice and did you change away from using them a long time ago? Have you found other dice? you know, that produce skewed outcomes. You know, this is quite topical because Games Workshop recently released the Death Guard dice inside with the 8th edition miniatures. Now the Death Guard dice, if you look at them, they look an absolute bugger's muddle of balance because you've got like an internal cast section surrounded by a, like a cube frame. I would steer well clear of using those dice, particularly if you're a Death Guard player because chances are, they might disadvantage you. That is everything I'd like to say on this subject today. So other than that, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.